Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to Assassin's Creed Revelations. So, I'm not doing very well. I'm barely getting three hours of content a day recorded on this game, which also then turns it into a poor, uh, poor excuse that I can use to not record anything else. You may notice we're not in the same place that we finished last time. That's because perhaps ever slightly more than than other games, the audio messes up if you leave the game just paused or running on my computer. But I was only a few feet away. So it does seem to checkpoint you pretty close. It just seems to have some very specific uh, spawn points laid out. Time to do a Master Assassin quest. Win the race against your apprentice. Mentor, I am told you still have the speed and strength of a 20-year-old. I try to keep healthy. Hmm. Then how about the race? I could use a bit of exercise. You begin, and I will follow. So, here we go. I knock somebody over, and because I knock somebody over, uh, I have no idea where I'm going. And see, I'm going the wrong direction, I think. So I've got a ton of stuff to catch up here. Make a nope of just how quiet it feels. The Templar is up to something. We should track him. Hmm. Oh. Oops. Oops, I was supposed to just follow him and not contact him. Like every Jeff time you are into a scenario a like this, they need to, they need to say, in slightly better fashion, that we are tailing only. I know that's what this icon in yellow is supposed to mean, but they didn't really make a great point to point that out. And I, sure, this is the fourth game in the series, but they're introducing elements and ways of playing the game that aren't directly the same so this very possibly could be the uh, the first time we've ever had to play quite like this Assassin's Creed 1 kind of had elements not let like him this. escape hey, I can stop him. Him. kill the pit pocket So I don't have any assassins with me right now. So I could just chase him. Or you know, I could just He was holding this mentor. It must belong to the vizier he robbed. You take care of this body. I will return this document. Temple awareness goes up higher. The Can I even loot this body? To see if there's anything valuable on him. No, there was literally nothing on him. There's another treasure chest. And see, she's she's almost dead in a weird way. back to this guy and talk to him. Apparently he's supposed to be something important. I believe important. this belongs to you. Ah, uh, hmm. you have spared me much humiliation before the sublime port. Thank you, hmm. Effendim. And is that the young assassin who aided you today? Hmm. Enjoy the rest of your day. So, clearly there was supposed to be more story there. Clearly, that was supposed to be more of a game. That was the Vizier Part 1. Hey. So... Wow. 
like seems really crazy let's recruit another assassin and then I want to run to this point and then to this point there's probably a fast travel way but I'll just swim over uh, in fact while we're up here let's try and get these treasure chests too and then see if maybe we can afford to buy this tower and do, do a Sophia memory. Uh, in Assassin's Creed 2, not Brotherhood, there were these these memories of of having it, it wasn't even really a relationship though. It, it was a lost love scenario. <laughs> like Let's see. This won't end well for you. Let him go right now. <laughs> hmm. So I just have my assassins work for me and do all the. If you effort. respect life and liberty, join our cause. Fight to restore peace to these troubled. It's slightly times. disconnected when a guy you gets down and bows. I will add my voice to this. The course. women are usually in such large full clothing uh, full head head to toe coverage they couldn't bow I think even if they wanted to or should I suppose we should talk this guy oh it doesn't even cost money wow and even though that was a pretty fast animation, it very possibly took longer or the same amount of time to travel by ferry boat than it did to just swim. Uh, that's that's kind of crazy. He will uh, end up dead or in a and having the f and knowing that there's so much of this game that clearly is unfinished like mission story content every kind audio this there's uh, the fact that that was animated seems very strange Assassin's Creed series, I suppose, always have been failing to to make these districts mean or have any value. Did you see where he went? Like, I've lost sight of him. Guess I'll jump down here. I think maybe slightly in Assassin's Creed 1 that it made some sense uh, the, they they had a poor a medium class and a a, a high class uh, a, a rich class section of the three cities in Assassin's Creed 1 but after that point a district is just given a name and you would have to read in the information to see if there was anything more there. Hmm. See, I have 10,000 right now, so I probably can't afford to purchase too much. So we have one that got promoted to 11. And this one is level 1. Notice I am at the maximum number of people which Alexandria is free versus free uh, Bursa right now they're trying to reclaim the city Athens right now they're trying to reclaim the city so we're down to Damascus and if I was to try and send an 11 person alone that won't work so instead let's see if we could do this 
and this and just hand a ton of experience to this level one character that we just unlocked. That's all we can really do right now. So there should be on the map now no more recruiting assassin missions. And that's exactly what's happened. All the recruit assassin missions have disappeared. They will only reappear if we somehow manage to kill a kill one of our assassin people. Which isn't highly likely to happen. Yes, we're with you. Hmm. And I think it's more than just hiring these people. I think I have to hire the Romanis and use them against enemies and... Doesn't seem like that would really happen. Brotherhood really killed the whole idea of... Of having or even needing the mercenaries or the thieves. It, in fact, even in Assassin's Creed 2, they, it was a very minimal, unimportant element that you didn't need to do. This guy is looking directly at me, and I have full Templar awareness, and like, he doesn't even care. That seems strange. Hmm. Yeah, it seems really, really strange that you could get away with standing right next to the guard and then not caring because that turns your entire game into a uh, into being kind of pointless. There you go. There's some people to distract. I think that's what I was supposed to do. So we'll continue to try and do that. Basically, to get all of these quests done, you, you, you effectively, I think, have to hire whatever group, mercenaries or Romanis or whatever, every time you see them and then uh, and then use them every time you can even though it's just busy work see these guys look like thieves but they're not they're just people sitting on the ground which I suppose that is a new animation, and I should applaud him for, for putting in some new animation somewhere. Like, I can try and go to this bank and hope that there's money in it, but I heavily suspect there isn't. I guess they took out the... Why am I leaving this area, actually? That, that was really dumb. All of my guys just got promoted I should go here skip all of these messages and see that everybody is up some levels mm. Mm. All right. Alexandria, Algiers, Bursa Athens. So Damascus is the next one. And if we put this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one together, it doesn't cut it. If we put this one, it still doesn't cut it. So we'll have to do something along that line. Send them out to reclaim that city. Now we're doing Genoa. Uh, 
Unlock new ingredients at the Perry Rosa shop. Interesting. I'm gonna have him do that. I'm going to go back now and send out anybody that that gives us any kind of bonus thing. Like, I don't really need XP. I really don't need extra income. Like, the income on the face of it seems like a cool idea, but not really necessary. Damascus, Genoa, so we want Jerusalem. There's nothing to do there. Send them that way. So they're trying, definitely, to. So there's one more ingredient I need to do. Maybe there's an ingredient in Rhodes. Uh, maybe you can't get anything completely unlocked. I hope I'm interpreting what that means correctly, and it isn't just going to hand me, like, three phosphorus. Some of these chests can't be part of the, the collectibles. They really can't. That they must have intended in this game to to have two tiers of chests, some that are randomly placed, well, and some that are intentionally and in, uh, better and more valuable, or at the very least, that's what this is set up to be right now. So I don't even have any money, which means I should go start a memory, which is I think what I said at the end of last recording. However, this game is so bad about distracting people. Well, distracting me, at least. I guess it is very possible that I am the only person that falls for this gameplay mechanic and since this is the second time I've played all four of the first four games in the Assassin's Creed series, I've fallen for it twice. Uh, hey, you should not be up here. All right. Not every shadow is a demonic killer. And not every shadow is a demonic killer, except for the fact that in this instance, it is. So these are gold chests. Whereas the other ones are just kind of wooden chests. If, if it was their intention to just let the player collect chests but not make them upset that they had to collect all of them to, to throw a bone to those people who are tired of being OCD with all the collectibles. Like, it still doesn't feel like that works quite right. Because I think you have to go one way or the other. I think you either have to say there are only 12 flags and there you'll only see 12 things that even look slightly like flags and, and get rid of the wooden chests elsewhere. Or you say, hmm, why can I recruit another assassin? That's odd. Uh, oh, I probably can recruit another assassin because one is ready to be trained to be a master assassin again. So we'll keep doing that. Like, yeah, the other way they could have done it is just say, there, there's no reward for collecting everything. Uh, that being said, the latest Zelda game on the Switch had glitches you could find throughout the world. And if you found them all, you just got a 
statue of poo because they were really trying to to emphasize and telling you it didn't matter. Hmm. Please, please help. Find the man who did this to me. So he's I all should bloody. get you to a Hakim. No, there is no time. The man who did this, he is looking for my wife and my daughter. If he finds them, God knows what he will do. If you value justice, Arkadeshim, please, the do not let that monster of... harm my family. Oh, different language words. So, this is a, one of the different types of uh, recruiting an assassin. Um, missions. And they may have made a special exception to to make sure people so he's killed now Good for him. You won't get away. I won't get away as I'm getting away. Like, it's telling me to locate people. Hmm. But I don't really have a reason to locate people. <sighs> Where do they cut cloaks like that? Isfahan? And lower my Templar awareness again. And go ahead and kill this guy again. I'll take some health. Never get health in these chests. Only money and bomb materials. And I suppose that is why the chest exists in the first place is to give you bomb making materials so the very first concept in this game was using bombs they again I would say dodged a bullet it, I mean when you think about it you're you're playing as uh, Muslim people ancient Muslim people making bombs everywhere that's potentially very political. It is done. And yet, no, How are you feeling? Nobody my wounds will made heal, that connection. And my heart is lifted knowing that my family is safe. I guess the, the thing here is they never encourage anybody to, feeling well, brother. to blow up we could citizens and they actively discourage it. Evet, I will. Most certainly. This guy is way too bloody. He's soaked in blood. Seems like they were also... desirous to have this be have more blood for some reason just maybe the mark up the the age rating I kind of don't know if very many games buy in uh, game makers buy into the concept of having a hard R rated video game it it seems Seems like you can probably just get away with doing whatever you want. And these guys came out of nowhere. I don't even want to fight them. None of these fights are bad. Uh, that's that's important to remember. We had horrible fights in Assassin's Creed 2. You'd get into these combos, you would have to just press X all the time. Now I can stupidly hit the X button three times, a combo won't happen, and all is well. So I need 27,000, double what I have. Hmm. Let's 
Sophia memories. And the Sophia memories, I imagine, are si like side memories. They're not things. They're not the main story. <laughs> I'm just looking around to make sure it's in the store before I walk in. Like, Sophia shouldn't... shouldn't be in this section. She shouldn't know that I'm an assassin. She shouldn't know any of that stuff. It's been quite a while since we've been in this den. This is the first time we can open these and get more items. And I don't want to do anything, however. And this. I've never seen it say that you were full on any kind of item, so I assume they've got it programmed to give you something until you're just I suppose if you were 100% full of all items there might be an indication then this this entrance suffers from having a bad camera angle it really does Let's just take a moment walking through here the camera should zoom out this should be a bigger hallway, this should play some music, this should feel cool. It, it doesn't look that great, but it's this should be a little bit better than this. And then when you walk into some of these sections, they are... Like, what is this? I don't even know what this is. The markings on this key are familiar, hmm. and the material... I have seen its kind before, just like the Apple of Eden. Is this Ancient the Sophia memory? From the first civilization. And see, this could be like a memory back to the truth. And Assassin's Creed solo player just crashed. Hmm. Let's see, what are we recording right now? One of the things I was doing is capturing full screen application. I have to record things differently here than any other game because it's switching between different different things, different applications, different programs. And that definitely feels like that's what it was trying to do there, is switch to a different program. But I'm not sure. So we've seen some, like, distinct crashing and problems in this. There we go. Let's make sure I'm actually recording. Uh, so, yes we are. So here's an assassin in the old days, all three years time. And the mission are you hurt? happens still. Mm, broken foot. There's Altair. And you don't ever really see his face. What is your name, brother? Altair, son of Umar. Umar? Oh, yes. He was a fine man who lived as he died. With honor. Altair, we have been betrayed. The enemy has overrun the castle. You live. And Al Mualim, where is he? He was inside when the Crusaders broke through. But we can do nothing for him now. Altair, we must fall back. When I close the castle gates, flank the crusaders in the village and drive them into the canyon. You don't stand a chance. Hmm. Abbas, 
No mistakes. So, we, you get to play as Altair, and this should have been a major like like this should have been a major turn of events now how the ladies that one of which just got killed uh, uh, have the exact same face models as as the other characters uh, that we've seen in a completely different area makes no sense but the idea was always that this was a game, this was a program running a simulation anyways. So, I'm not really sure how much it really wants me to fight, and how much it really wants me to help. As soon as we start playing as Altair again, um, the, the amount of of difficulty fighting came right back and that's that's really silly Altair theoretically should be better than uh, like we don't have a timer here so I don't know why, why I'm like, this is supposed to be a big cinematic scene, an experience, and this would work a lot better and make a lot more sense if uh, were if we were more powerful than Ezio. But the game is effectively saying Ezio is better than Altair, which is not the way it should go. Uh, we are getting a growing number of people that assassins that look all the same. Which maybe this was an idea of a different type of defense mini game of versus the one we eventually saw. Uh, the, the idea that you have to run through an area, kill a bunch of enemies, get more assassins to follow you, and just have this ever-growing, like, parade of assassins behind you. Honestly, that works better than the boring defense game that we do have to do for the Templar games. Although... To be fair, this probably would be pretty boring too. We reached the checkpoint. Uh, effectively, what's happening here is Altair is killing everybody, which is not what he said to do. He said he was going to rush to the castle and. These other assassins were supposed to drive them to the front gate where there, are, I believe, was a cannon waiting to shoot people. Pop him off. So I just lost, I think, a decent number of of uh, followers, which I imagine was intentional. And this is the old fighting style, definitely. A lot of having to kick, a lot of trying, having to just bang things and counter things. There's no full synchronization, although Altair does have the more health. Kill the Crusader without being detected. Another step, and your mentor dies. What's funny here is you will not leave this knowing alive. the story of Assassin's no, Creed 1. You misunderstand. I am no traitor. But I cannot betray those I never truly love. Then you are doubly wretched, but you have been living a lie. Hmm. 
So we know that the, our, your mentor is the... Now you call on your lapdog to protect you? You disappoint me. Why not share what you have learned with everyone, like a proper assassin? Why so, not share with your brothers the true extent of your ambition? We're seeing subtitles and we're Where seeing is help. your sense of fraternity? Another good man dies and still you say nothing. I am surprised. You taught me many things, Al Muallin, but patience was not one of them. So speak this guy now, or I will cut out your tongue is killing that you may speak no more. my friends. Hmm. I don't think I can assassinate him from that height. Can I get him? Like, I'm trying to... Your time is running out, old man. I guess Tell I me what you know here. of the artifact. Tell me where you are searching for it. It is a small price to pay to preserve what you have built here, no? Come on. Um. <laughs> ah! Alright. So, two of them died. Doesn't really matter. None of this kind of really matters because it's all set in the history. You put too much faith in the hearts of men, Altair. The Templars know the truth. Humans are weak, base, and petty. We even have the old school way no. of things. Our creed is evidence to the contrary. <laughs> Perhaps I am not wise enough to understand, but I suspect the opposite. That I am too wise to believe such rubbish. So how the key gives you these memories, I don't know. You Is he offered holding him a chance to, to salvage his dignity. Why? No man should pass from this world without knowing some kindness. But he shunned your graces. As was his right. Altair, I have watched like, you grow that's from a boy to a man one of those so short kill scenes quite as It fills me with as much game. sadness as pride. Notice Altair also you has a scar on his shoes as if they had been seems tailored to just to always feet. follow Desmond. I did not know him well as a father. He was an assassin, above all. You too were born into this order. Do you regret it? How can I regret the only life I've ever known? You may find a way in time, and it will be up to you to choose the path you prefer. Hmm. Come, my boy, and ready your blade. This battle is not yet won. So, I didn't save all the civilians under attack. So, a full sink, sink s failed. I didn't even see that that was what uh, I was supposed to be doing. Do they contain recorded memories, these keys? These ancient seals? But what is Altair trying to tell us, I wonder? What does he want the future to know? Or to learn? So... I almost wonder if it's a case of... This... I can't interact with again. Uh, when we do these memories, it loads up... Entire sections of... Assassin's Creed 1, and that's why it crashed. An honor to serve. Let's see, I don't have any special books yet. I would have thought that the books I was buying would have ended up there. But is that a Sophia memory? Because that had nothing to do with Sophia. But apparently, yes, it was. That seems pretty crazy. Uh, outfits and armor, we're, we'll just purchase all of those once Greetings things are cheaper. I should actually have a couple pieces of armor somewhere, but maybe they're just equipped right now. Weapons, we've purchased a few of those, but we'll purchase the vast majority of those later. 
Although, I don't even see a guild challenge that that suggests that there's any benefit to doing any of that. Hmm. And that's the Sophia memory. And this is a fast travel point that we can now interact with. Here's where we can move forward on these elements. So we have one that's level 12. It's crazy that it goes up to level 15. Just because of the number 15. I would have thought it would have you could have balanced the system better than that to go up to level uh, uh, level 10 would be the maximum level so I'm gonna look at everything here just see if there's any more ingredients things we can do as we're freeing these cities in a real way like Damascus level up. I may very well just need to like I guess maybe I could lose some of these cities later on. So reclaiming the city isn't the the main thing. And I would like to get something. I'd like to get some of these higher. So level 10 isn't the maximum I thought it was. We'll send these guys out and keep things balanced. And then let's see if we have enough people to reclaim this city. Alright, and that's Lisbon is the next one. And we probably can't reclaim the city there. Hmm. So we'll send him this direction to get some more bomb parts. Good to see you, Neto. And I guess they just want me to leave this area. It's a pretty long, long run to. have to walk that full length every time just to exit. So where are we on the map now? Um, don't have the money for this. And we're at 52% income. The bank probably has deposited some money. So we could try and see if maybe we could afford this. And then we need to get out of this area Probably, let's see, probably see if we can fast travel back to the bomb place and sell some more bomb making material. And then if we could fast travel down here and focus on some of the things over here and purchase more buildings, that would probably be nice. I'm still very much shifting between do I want to do main main, main things or, or side things and every time I try to do a main min, uh, main memory a main level it takes such an insignificantly small amount of time so I can afford this building. Uh, you'll spend maybe 20 minutes doing a main memory and then the main memory will put you out in some area that's completely in a different location and you're just back to 
uh, looking for chests. As we're flying around here, let's see if the game is going to show any animus fragments. Nope. So we should go here. We should go here and we should fast travel to this place. Which I guess means I'd have to fast travel here. Fair enough. Run this way. One less than obvious bug you could have, or just general pathing problem is everywhere where you actually need to go in a, in a game like this might be some the same path over and over again and if that is the case hmm. like I'm trying to loot this chest not Uh, so there could be significant numbers of side streets that you <gasps> just never walk on. Is that direction, I wonder, the way towards Mysef? It very well might be. Could be on the other side, too. <laughs> Could be that we're nowhere close to to where Altier's headquarters were. Hmm. I suppose we could try to do the main story. Next after doing the bombs. Not a good system on this menu. We have a cursor, because this has mouse support. The cursor never disappears. Why can the controller not become the cursor on the map and just let me point to where I'd like to go? So this will be our big reveal. If to find out if finding the new ingredients does something nice or if it's an insignificant element. And running through this, this bazaar is never fun. Too many people, too many narrow hallways. Open this. Get more things. And then let's talk to him and see what we've got. So, shells, he's out of stock. Gunpowder, he has Arabic gun gunpowder and Indian gunpowder. He might be out of stock simply because I have everything already. However, I have tons of... So, fuse shells, I have six. Impact shells, 16. Sticky pouches, one. And I'm just going to sell it all. Because every time I do this, it seems to give me significant amounts of money. Hmm. And you, you never would have really considered this as the way to play. I, this is such a backwards idea of collecting all these bomb ingredients, which clearly this game was obsessed with the bomb idea. Uh, which just doesn't work 
if they wanted to make a game where somebody hides in a crowd and throws bombs all over the place, you you could make a video game like that, but that needed to be the only thing they could do. They, You'd have to take away the hidden blade, you'd have to take away the swords. Yeah, now I have like 25,000. Uh, you'd have to take away uh, so many other elements that you that you've already established. Honestly, if you wanted to make a game like that, you'd probably want to make it more cartoony and it make it like a Bugs Bunny my uncle came on more than two decades ago. Not We had quite a lot of fun with these in many rowdy ports. In Rodos, Why did they animate that guy standing up and walking around? It was so easy to lure the hospitalers from their palace posts right into a patch of caltrops. <laughs> and to see them dancing in the street in a full suit of armor, nothing is more undignified. Hmm. Try it, you'll see. Now, I've tried to use the caltrops before, but I found them to be kind of useless. So here's five guys. We're gonna try and hit with Caltrops. Aim and throw the bomb in front of the guards. Right there. And then kill and castivate the, the, the guys while the crippled. Hmm. Him now. If I tap this, then it it does hurt them, but oops, full synchronization failed. And the idea, I suppose, with the caltrops is they might be slightly useful if you need to become anonymous. Hmm. Will this work? Apparently not. Well, yes it will. I may know someone suitable for the position, but I thought I would ask before mentioning the people. Hmm. So, uh, another pretty boring mission. Hey, we got some book things, bookstores and things to purchase over here, so let's run this way. Right back in the direction we just came. It's, I suppose, something I never realized until just a second. But the initial idea of having open worlds, open world games, probably is under a cynical level of trickery to just have the player waste a lot of their time walking back and forth in and not actually accomplishing anything uh, just just walking from point a to point b and if this were any other type of game and you were walking through city under direction if the game specifically said you have to walk from this point to this point I think players would realize that that was just busy work and not, not enjoy it however the, they kind of masterfully switched the blame onto the player and and it, it doesn't even occur it, it hasn't occurred for years in my mind that oh yeah They've laid out this in such a way that all of the the quests could have been in one linear line 
uh, with no extra walking from mission one to mission two to mission three, and that would have been exactly how you would have done it with any of the any old style of game. But instead, they put people, houses, and roads in the way. And even though these people, houses, and roads aren't doing anything, they are getting in your way. Hmm. We're at about 50% restoration. So... Okay. So now apparently I can buy more ingredients from the shop. Something ails you, friend? Um... Can we get fast asking poison upgrade? Sure, why not? I have done my best. Set up my best. I was gonna buy armor though. Armor is more much more valuable than yeah, this guy's trying to shop at a closed down store. Although it doesn't feel like your armor is actually going to uh, change or get too high. Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 tripled, quadrupled. It felt like your health here. It seems like you barely double it. Also, all of those elements are uh, no longer really focused on. I'm still not going to buy weapons though. I can't afford the crossbow. Tell your friends about me. Crossbow feels like it might be DLC. There's un unfocused it's on. The the only real difference between the crossbow and the I assume I can't go too far up this direction. Um Master mission master assassin assignment. We might be able to do that too. Yep. I think that's where we should go. And outfit wise, I'm ready to rip. like I'm let's see. It's already equipped. So we'll remove it. Like we've tried all the outfits, they're pointless. It's ridiculous that it's even in the game. Uh, so much stuff is ridiculously added for no reason. And how can you fully relate to a character when they don't even bother to make you see that character? Like, if my Ezio looks completely different from every other Ezio, how can you in advertisements, at the very least, have, have Ezio depicted? Uh, Mass Effect, I suppose, in a similar way, had uh, relatively the same problem. Uh, you, there was definitely a lot of people who had the feminine female shepherd character, and then half the other players were playing as the male shepherd character. I'm not surprised, is it? Continue to get bomb parts, even though I continue to sell them. Didn't mean to activate that, I meant to loot that. Too many actions on the B button, frankly. Like almost every interact button is the B button. Modern games, I would say it should have been. Well, B is probably about right. A sometimes. Um. This 
with this with no effect, so I can't even craft a bomb even if I wanted to. I good to know. One of my assassins can now be assigned to a din. Let's do that. So, when I assign an assassin to a den, I believe that opens up the room for a new. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think it means I have room for a new assassin, or maybe I already have some assassins in waiting. So, where are we now? Alexandria still under our control, Algier is still under our control, Barca, Athens. I suppose if one of them fell out of our control, we would learn that pretty fast. Jerusalem. We're getting, we're getting some new missions, but... Some of this definitely falls under uh, a level of. Let's see, if I add them, that's 100. And I definitely would only want to do 100. Let's see, do I have enough people to send out these guys for a level 100? Claim that city. And I don't have any more assassins anyway, so there we go. So we started this hour wanting to do a master assassin mission. We did it. Oh, maybe that was two hours ago, honestly. Uh, we had a crash, we did a Sophia memory, we we ran around, bought some more buildings, we did a bomb memory. It's it's going to be a lot of the same in the next recording too. DNA wise, like we're still, I think, on sequence three. Lost and found. There's two more main memories before the sequence changes. I think before the sequence changes, because I kind of am not 100% certain here, like, I don't know if I trust the game not to have a kind of insignificantly small amount of, of memories. Like, we're at 30.97% total sync, and that includes a lot of these missions where where I failed and only got 50% sync. Challenges wise, um, like the Assassin's Guild challenge, we probably won't even get done before we've done all the missions we want to do. Um, if I hold around a lot of Assassin, uh, Assassin, so I can do Arrow Storm. I could get set two, which is something I'd like to do, but I'd have to use Arrow Storm 12 more times, and I'm not even sure I'm going to do that. Plus, calling a, an assassin during a story mission. Maybe after we've like gotten all the dins done and freed all of the uh, all of the Mediterranean, though, I guess maybe there's nothing left to actually send them out on missions for. Uh, I, they're not going to get a significant amount of money uh, for me. I, I would just be sending them on missions to level up to rank 15 for all of them, which is fine. Uh, the set 3 thing that we're trying to do right now is, is to get 7 of them up to Master Assassins, and that would unlock the Assassin's Faction weapon, which might be helpful. Mercenaries, on the other hand, um, using mercenaries on guard. Uh, 
performing a hook and throw. We've never done that. Uh, I don't know what the mercenary faction ability would be. Um, or the mercenary weapons. I don't really care about the mercenary guild challenges. Romani's. Um, but <laughs> again, don't know what the Romani faction ability is, so. Or it seems like you have to do a little bit more uh, to get set three for the Romani faction. And then Thieves. I think we've been through all of these before and we're not making any significant profit. Still don't know what counter steal is or how you would do that. Let's see, the bombs one is kind of the only thing I, I do care about. Stick a bomb to a guard, which would require me to make a sticky bomb. Uh, and that's not super useful. Kill five guards with a single bomb. Kill guards with tripwire bombs. Um, yeah. Maybe we could get set one done. Maybe we can get set two done. Craft a bomb with every shell type. I guess if it's just with every shell type, uh, that's easy enough to do. Craft one bomb of each effect type. And I suppose that's easy enough to do. Uh, and then kill bomb, kill people who are incapacitated while by a bomb. And use every bomb effect at least twice. Now that I read the set too, there actually might be a lot less to that than I thought originally. And then additional memories. We still haven't made any progress on viewpoints. Haven't really made any progress on uh, on these data cores. We found one of these. So wherever these other elements are hidden, they're hidden very well. Treasure chests. We have 70 out of 106, and it seems weird. Uh, like we know Galata now we have them all uh, but we have none in Cap Cappadocia if I'm pronouncing any of this right it's a lot of a lot of words here and then extra treasures and hidden locations well we found three in the cistern and I guess we haven't been to the maiden tower or the forum of the axe or ox or any of that Hagia Sophia hmm. So that's probably a little bit spoilish. It's taking it's taking too long, and once we do memory three, I imagine we'll get kicked back out, and also have to do the other other thing, the memories for subject sixteen, or I guess they're Desmond memories. That now they really have dropped like the big reveal stuff has has kind of gone away uh, from Assassin's Creed 1 with it being very possible that any number of conspiracies could be true or all conspiracies are true now there's barely any talk of conspiracies they've moved directly into telling you outright what is true and what isn't anyways we've gone long that's it for this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below if you like what i'm doing and want to support me give me a game on steam thank you for watching have a good evening